Hi there, this is Seth Lake with VSL Aviation doing a quick video today to show you how the unfeathering accumulator system works on the Beechcraft Traveler. So behind me here I have the panel that has the nitrogen tank of the unfeathering accumulator system. Uh, this is on the left nacelle behind the engine and this small tank has 135 psi of nitrogen gas. Now this is what basically allows the unfeathering accumulator system to work. It takes uh, the windmilling propeller and when we uh, take that windmilling propeller to a feathered position, uh, which stops it from moving, right? It takes it from that spinning state to a static state. It takes the oil out of the propeller hub and forces it into the accumulator, further pressurizing the nitrogen in the nitrogen tank. Now, when we move the propeller lever from the uh, feathered position to the full forward position, that opens a valve and energizes the unfeathering system and basically releases that potential energy and forces the oil that was basically under, held under pressure by the nitrogen, forces it back into the propeller hub and takes the blades from a feathered position to a unfeathered position. As soon as those blades reach that critical angle and the air catches them, it begins to windmill again, thereby restarting the engine without having to use the electric starter. This is really important multi-engine training because we do a lot of engine shutdowns and restarts. And doing an air start without an unfeathering system puts a lot of strain on the starter and the electrical system of the aircraft. So this prevents all of that and really is a lifesaver. I've flown a lot of aircraft or a lot of twins doing multi-engine training that don't have this system and they're all a little bit harder to start. And you can find yourself holding the starter for up to 30, 45 seconds to get an engine restart. Whereas in the travel air, all we do is simply move the, the feather lever from feathered to full forward and it starts right away. It's also a closed loop system. So as long as there's no leaks from the, this nitrogen tank, you never have to refill it. We do check it every 100 hour inspection to make sure that it's properly pressurized, but you can do hundreds of restarts and it will work reliably. It's just a great system, and uh, it, it's another thing that's, uh, that makes the Traveler a great multi-engine trainer. Thanks for watching.